Dr. Kerry Sink, welcome to Shelley Beach. You've been on a research ship and you've been exploring our waters. Tell us about it, the dives you've done, etc. So we have been working off Shelley Beach at the canyons, in the submarine canyons. So these are just like canyons on land, but underwater canyons that encroach into the shelf and make these steep drop-offs that cut into the shelf here off, um, off, off the area between Mzumbi and Port Edward. There's four of them. And we managed to put down a remotely operated vehicle to video the species and the ecosystems in these canyons. And you found some awesome things down there as well. We found some very interesting things. So we found these beautiful um, different types of corals, both hard corals and soft corals, and kind of jellyfish that, that are attached to the substrates and very interesting fish, fish that we, we didn't know were in this area, particularly so far south, but no coelacanths, which was one of the species we were interested in. Okay, now the research you've been doing is to, in combination with the Marine Protected Act, to protect our coast? Yes, so some of the work that we're doing, we're trying to understand what, what different ecosystems across the South African marine environment support. So what we want to make sure is that we have a network of protected areas that represent the full diversity of species and ecosystems in the marine environment. And so what we learned here is that the canyons here off Shelley Beach are very different from the canyons off Sidwana Bay where we've been working because of the coelacanth project over the last 15 years. Wow, it's been that long, hey? And we're still hoping to find one down here? I, I do think that we might find them. Certainly we find many of their friends and, and many of their prey. Okay, now all this research, we've all been into a panic about the Marine Protected Act because of our nature of our industry down here, all the fishermen, the divers, etc. You will have an input on that one? Yes, so what we're doing is we're trying to feed in the science into management. So for example, in this area, it's important that our research helps to inform decision making. We need to build the knowledge base so we can make informed decisions. So soon this proposed new marine protected area um, network will go into a stakeholder consultation and engagement phase and then we need to have knowledge to inform decision making about the comments that are raised by stakeholders so so stakeholders need to be organized they need to bring in constructive criticism and suggestions for how to solve any issues with this proposed network I think the bottom line here is that once we do have the M Marine Protected Act that we will be able to, in terms of all the fracking and the exploration, be able to better protect our coast? Yeah, I, I think it's very important that we have areas that are, are safe areas in the marine environment. So certainly our current legislation prohibits mining and petroleum exploration in marine protected areas. And we would hope to meaningfully protect those ecosystems. Kerry, thank you so much for taking time out to come down here and to inform some of the public here about what you did find down there. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. It's very special ecosystems and it's great that we can share some of what's down there beyond the reach of your, your average diver and person with the public. Thank, thank you. you.